My first treatment, by the time of my next treatment, I had no hair. So I was very much about my hair, and I think that was one of the parts that really affected me, like the loss of my hair. Well, during treatment, thousands of women will deal with many emotional aspects of breast cancer. Losing your hair can be especially hard. Bronx native Renee White went through it, but she had a saving grace, she says, in Flora Fuentes, owner of Unique Hair Concepts in Ardsley, Westchester County. Thank you both so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. And you brought some examples, but first, Renee, I want to ask you, tell us a little bit about your story and, and when were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed with cancer last Last year in September 2014, mm -hmm. um, I had my mastectomy in January of 2015, and finished my chemo treatments in July of this year as well. So, one day at a time, everything is going according to God's plan. So mm -hmm. it's been great. Well, that's wonderful to hear that you're doing a little yeah. bit better. Tell, mm -hmm. We saw you in the taped piece. Talk a little bit about losing your hair and what that was like for you? Oh, it was very emotional for me because I feel as women we're very much into our hairs. So I feel my hair was very long, I mean mid-length. Mm -hmm. So that was like my major concern with the hair loss. And prior to me losing my hair, I cut my hair so I wouldn't have the initial shock of you know, of the hair falling. So prior to the, um, the hair falling, I did the pre-cut. Mm -hmm. The pre buzz cut, like I said, right. to prepare myself. So, explain how you got hooked up with Flora here. I got, um, I met Flora through a friend. I was recommended by a friend, you know, to see her because in today's society, it's always about men's hair loss. You really don't hear about women's hair loss mm -hmm. or what they have to offer for them. So, I heard about her and she, you know, her consultation was great. Once the welcoming, once I got there, you know, was, felt very welcomed. Once I got there, and she, you know, prepared me very well, asked me many questions. How did I wear my hair? The color. So when I did actually get the wig, I felt like me. Yeah, Flora, let me bring you in because you do. I know you do work with men and women, but you do sp pay special attention to women like Renee with breast cancer. So tell us a little bit about your business and 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 what you do. So my business is focused on helping men, women, children with hair loss. Uh, with an emphasis on women's hair loss especially, uh, we start with an initial consultation. We discuss what their uh, expectations are. Uh, in Renee's case, uh, medical hair loss, she's going to lose all her hair. So I took uh, specialized measurements so that I can fit her for a medical grade wig with mm -hmm. human hair. With human hair, yes. mm -hmm. and you brought some examples yes. here. Mm -hmm. So explain, sort of. These are just a few. Yeah. So these are just a few examples. The first one is actually a synthetic wig. Because sometimes, depending on the aggressiveness of the of the cancer, the patient may be better off wearing a, a synthetic wig. Mm -hmm. And we have some really nice technology now where synthetic wigs can actually look more like human. Uh, on the right over here, the the brown colored uh, wig. That's human hair. It's similar to what we made for Renee. And then the one here in the center is the CNC medical prosthetic, uh, in which we actually use 3D technology to replicate the, um, the scalp. So it looks like growing hair. So there's various technologies available, so that's part of the consultation. We discuss what the options are. So Renee, tell me, has your hair grown back yet? Yes, yeah, somewhat. It's, it's in the growing process. I little, have the little buzz cut, mm -hmm. you know, but it's with time. Until then, tell me, what's your advice for women who maybe are going through what you went through? One day at a time, the hair will eventually come back, you know. Um, if you get someone as great as Flora who mm -hmm. could provide the services that I got, because in, like the day I got it, I started crying and she says, are you okay? And I was just like, I felt like me. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel fake. It felt like my hair, the way I wore it, the color, the style, so it made me feel really good. So I feel with time, you know, positive, positive energy, positive mindset. Right. And definitely, it'll happen. Yeah, and Flora, what's, what's your advice to women like Renee? For women who get diagnosed with cancer, the sooner that we can meet you, the better. So that we can take a look at your actual hairstyle, we can take a sample of your hair, um, and for women, we can move along as quickly as possible for the process because many women that I meet sometimes have young children and they don't want to concern the family with their medical diagnosis. So if we can help them look like themselves, it actually relieves their anxiety. Thank you both so much for Thank coming you. in. We really appreciate it. Thank and you. best of luck to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate health. it. Thank you. And for more information, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.